So have you been able to opt out of, um, like, I'm sure people attack you, uh, <clears throat> given how public you are, like, have you been able to opt out of of stories like that? Have, has anyone ever? Yeah, I, I, I just like don't log on to, I just don't read the comments, you know, I can opt out. But, you know, things get through sometimes and I don't want to completely insulate myself. Um, you know, I want to understand how my words are landing. So I do sometimes go into the comments and stuff, but sometimes like, like I'm super sensitive, you know, like someone says like a really mean thing and sometimes it just gets in. You know, like be up all night thinking about like, like, oh gosh, am I really, you know, a wannabe hippie narcissist, uh, you know, whatever, like, you know, playing out his defiance against his father or, you know, whatever, whatever <laughs> psychological analysis is feeding mm -hmm. through my comment section. Like, you know, have I really like, do I really have blood on my hands? You know, have countless grandmothers died because I have fostered vaccine skepticism or whatever. <clears throat> um, but, but, you know, certain things cut deep, you know what I mean? And I don't think it's, um, when, when that happens, sometimes it illuminates inner voices that are saying the same things as these outer voices are saying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's good to know like that these inner voices are there and maybe to give attention to the wounds that they're speaking from. And also like, yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I got something wrong too. That happens, you know, to me just as often as it happens to anybody else. So, so, but yeah, you know, there's a certain, like if something is just like obviously an attack, I'm not going to pretend that it's anything else. Sometimes an offering, it's not an offering. It's not a, they don't want to have a conversation. They want to have a fight. Yeah. It has to be at least some sign of a willingness to have a conversation. Although I've even had the experience of like someone like sends something really nasty and I'll like turn it, you know, somehow like, jujitsu it into like, like, you know, I'll like, I'll like pretend almost that they're um, asking these sarcastic questions in earnest. And sometimes like, like there's a transformation sometimes. Mm -hmm. But it is, again, it's like, like, it's like, you know, the panhandler. I mean, you could probably do that with a lot of the panhandlers too, but that's not your only job here on earth. What's when you're up at night um, being disturbed by stuff that you've read, what's your process to move through that? I, I, I just, Usually I just stew in it and then eventually, eventually I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and sometimes if it goes on for days and stuff and I get into a, a funk, then something will happen in my life or somebody will reach out in the right way at the right moment. And it's not just like, oh, Charles, thank you so much for your writing. It's changed my life. Like, it's like it'll be something again that gets under my skin, you know. 